All right. Uh, in the meantime, that, that is an important distinction here because I, I don't want to conflate one type of tax business or otherwise with federal income taxes or some of the other taxes that people pay, you know, payroll taxes and the like, uh, Social Security, Medicare, state, city taxes there. Of course, you can make the argument, as I think the president has in the past, that when it comes to all of those taxes, uh, he's paid a good many of them, millions of dollars worth over time. But again, these particular reports cited in the Times and looking through 20 years of returns seem to focus on the federal income taxes that the, uh, the president paid or maybe did not pay over that time. Tom Wilbright uh, is with Tax-Free Wealth. He's an author, an accountant on this very subject. Tom, I'm very happy to have you because I think people lose sight leaving the debate over which kind of taxes were paid that when you're in the real estate industry, um, this sort of thing is not unusual. In other words, um, piling up losses, writing off those losses uh, is, is not as sinister as it appears, but explain to me. Well, ab absolutely, Neil. It's actually, I would be shocked if he paid much in taxes. Um, as much real estate and debt as he has, it would be pretty shocking if he paid very much in federal income tax. So we know he, he piled up a lot of debt. Right now, he's in the middle of this audit that could cost him $100 million, but he has $300 million worth of various obligations that could soon be coming do as much we don't really know about that. Uh, is it unusual to have debt play such a large role for uh, you know a real estate firm, uh, an operator like like he was, and actually remains? Not at all. In fact, uh, real estate developers <laughs> they're they're typically cash poor. They have uh, lots of assets, lots of debt. Uh, very little cash and they pay no taxes. And, and that's the way the tax law works. The tax law is actually intended to work that way, which is the whole point of my book, Tax-Free Wealth. So um, it is legal in this country, you can write off your losses. I think what surprised some people, and maybe you can educate us all here, Tom, is that um, you can keep writing off these losses and then spread that out over the course of years. And hence this possibility, because of that, he technically paid no federal income taxes 10 of those 15 years. Does that jibe with what you've seen in other cases for those in this industry uh, to, to have such a, a situation? Uh, well, it does, because when you buy a, a property, you get to deduct uh, the cost of that property over a period up to 40 years. So it's as long as you keep investing in new properties, and, and the president's been investing in new properties for years and years and years, you're unlikely to pay much in federal income tax while you're investing in real estate. What, what happens when you're done? I mean, there's, a, there's an amortization period. I get that and all of that. There's a, a point at which, um, uh, obviously, debt is due and you have to pay it. Then what? Well, eventually, presumably, you either, either pay the tax or you die and the taxes go away. Actually, the way the tax law is structured, you really don't ever have to pay that tax if you're a real estate investor and you can die and, and avoid the taxes entirely. That's the way the tax law is written. There must be a better solution than having to die to avoid that. But we'll talk about that next time we have you on. Um, very good job. I, I, I very much appreciate that, Tom. Tom Wilbright, his expertise is certainly going to come in handy as people try to decipher these tax returns. Uh, but that's where you get when you're dealing with tax returns that number in the hundreds, sometimes thousands of pages.